My name is Elena Gallego from the Reuse Company, and I'm going to show you how the arithmetic operation compliance with SCM metric works with this video tutorial. With arithmetic operation compliance with SCM metric, it's possible to analyze how the values of a set of properties in the requirement specification are consistent according to the values of the properties from the breakdown structure stored in the conceptual model layer of the system knowledge base. It's important to note that this inconsistency metric needs a major ontology with a defined system conceptual model, patterns and formalizations. It's not the aim of this video tutorial to define the properties in class and principle, which is itself implemented in this metric. If you want further information about it, you can check the property inconsistency metric video tutorial or the forums in our website. Applying this metric to the requirement specification, the user will know how the requirement specification is consistent to an operation by comparison with the property of the composite. The quantitative values resulting from the analysis will lie the engineer to improve the requirement specification by checking how inconsistent it is concerning the values of the properties from the selected parts of the breakdown structure. For example, in this video tutorial, we've selected a set of requirements from a bicycle specification to analyze the requirements consistency from the physical properties point of view. As we see, the specification has 11 physical restriction requirements with different values for the same property, the weight and refer to the different subsystems that form the bicycle system. The analysis will show how inconsistent is the total weight of the bicycle system by comparison with the sum of the subsystems. For example, in this video tutorial, we've selected a set of requirements from a bicycle specification to analyze the requirements consistency from the physical properties point of view. As we see, the specification has 11 physical restriction requirements with different values for the same property, the weight, and refer to the different subsystems that form the bicycle system. The analysis will show how inconsistent is the total weight of the bicycle by comparison with the sum of the subsystems. To do the analysis, we've defined a pattern group covering the two main requirements statement structure by two different patterns, which will generate the properties. We've already selected the subsystems we want to control for the inconsistency analysis from the product breakdown structure defined into the system conceptual model. Finally, we've created the properties of the elements we want to identify defining the property itself, the applicable element, the numeric value, and the operator. To start with, Let's see into the Knowledge Manager how are defined the properties of the patterns that we want to be matched in the requirement specification. In the Patterns configuration, we've defined the representative lots from the requirement that are going to generate the properties. When creating the properties, we've identified the main slots of the pattern covering the requirement elements we want to analyze. The subject representing the physical property the applicable elements, system, subsystem, and component, and the noun, which represents the measurement units, all the properties for a complex property with the same operator and value. As we've built the bicycle knowledge base, we've created a product breakdown structure in our system conceptual model similar to the previously identified elements in the second slide of this presentation. Once we've defined into KM the patterns and the properties we want to be matched in the requirement specification, we can start to configure the arithmetic operation metric in our QA. To do this, we can go to the configuration tab and in the consistency metrics view, add a new arithmetic operation compliance with a CM metric. In this configuration window, we can edit the name of the metric, add a description, the enable, check, and the suitable for calculating the metric immediately by their QA. The next configuration step 
allows us to define a requirements filter in which this metric could be applied. To follow with, we click on the Configuration Arithmetic Cooperation Compliance with SCM button. In this window, we select the SCM view we want to analyze. For the current sample, I am going to select the Composition Relationship type. In the Selected Terms configuration, we choose the applicable elements of the product burden structure. In this case, we are going to analyze the bicycle system. To limit the scope of the PVS in which arithmetic operations will be applied, we can set the number of levels. In this case, we'll configure the metric for just be applicable to the main subsystems of the bicycle, so we set the number of levels to 1. In the property option, we define which physical property we want to analyze. In this case, it is the weight. To finish with the configuration, we select the arithmetic operation. In this case, we want to sum the weight of the bicycle subsystems. Finally, we add the pattern group we have defined for the purpose of this metric, which we've named 01.09.01 physical property. If we'll have any other patterns that we would like to be matched by the requirements, we could add it on the right side of the patterns configuration. Now we accept. We can see that a quality function for the metric has been added automatically with a predefined ranges. We consider that more than zero inconsistency issue is a low quality level, and on the contrary, any inconsistency issue is a high quality level. Let's calculate the analysis results for this metric applied for the bicycle specification. For that, we go to the quality control tab, and in the consistency metric view, we can recalculate quality. The result says that the inconsistency ratio of 0.1 is very high. If we see the metric results, the specification has at least one inconsistent element and the 90% of the requirements don't have any inconsistency issue. This means that the sum of the weight of all selected subsystems is greater than the weight of the whole system. The bicycle, as we can see in the requirements specification inconsistency detail results. In the inconsistent term analysis, we can also see the results of the arithmetic operation for each element that have generated a property value. The total weight of the bicycle after the metric analysis shows up that the total weight of all systems is 36 kilograms, greater than the defined 25 kilograms for the bicycle. Assuming that the problem is in the bicycle requirement, if we double click on it, the requirements edition window will show up. We can set the total weight of the bicycle to 36 kilograms. So we are going to edit our requirement and recalculate again the metric results. Finally, we see that the requirement specification has an inconsistency issue according to the metric configuration. Thank you very much for your attention.